Hey everybody, my name is Kumbilt from the Fellowship of Acoustics and it's my favorite time of the week again. It's time for new arrivals and we've picked five beauties for you again. Uh, there are a lot of weird guitars, interesting guitars, vintage guitars, so let's not wait too long and kick off with the first one. All right, so the first one up is quite a weird one. It's a 57 Les Paul, <laughs> but not your normal 57 Les Paul. This one is in TV yellow. And the first time I took a look at it, I was like, hmm, that's weird, but the more I get to watch it, the more I start to like it. First of all, it's incredibly light. So it's really resonant in tone as well. It's a beautiful rosewood fingerboard and that paired with the black binding here and the TV yellow finish makes this just a really cool rock and roll guitar. Well, let's listen to the demo, see how rock and roll it is. So the next one up is a uh, trade-in as well, and these guitars always do well. So it's from 2023, so it's almost new, but it's a 1960 Strat Heavy Relic, black over sunburst. And I love these colors over colors because they get this really interesting vibe. And well, everybody knows the aging from Fender is just spot on. So this one comes with Texas Special hand run pickups. This, a lot of bite as well. Completely different animal as the Les Paul. But these pickups give a really good strong tone and they will cut through any mix in any band. So you don't need a humbucker with this guitar on stage. So the next one is an arch top from probably one of the most iconic European arch top makers. So it's a Schapach Vienna arch top. And this is just the creme de la creme. A beautiful spruce top, beautiful maple back and sides. And this is just a big, beautiful arch top. These guitars are loved by a lot of jazz players and, and we can understand why, because they sound really rich and full, but they keep a really nice and balanced tone. So sometimes these really large arch tops, they can get a bit muddy in tone, but this one is just perfectly balanced. The next one up is a treat from Collings and they treated us with some very nice guitars. Most of them were sold um, in pre-orders, but luckily a few will make it to the website. So keep posted on the new arrivals because they are rare to find. And it's this beautiful i35 LC in Pelham Blue aged finish. And we decided for this one not to do it entirely Pelham Blue. Uh, sometimes we do that, sometimes we don't. It's just what kind of mood we are in. For this one, we picked beautiful flame maple and then it's stained to almost cherry. And that works really nice with the blue because it gives a really cool contrast. And that pairs really good with the mahogany neck as well. Yeah, I think you can call the mahogany stain then. 
That think so too. I think so. Yes, yes. Let's call it a mahogany stain. Um, the H treatments all over the guitar, they do that really nicely. So it's, it's, there are no dings and dongs. It's just a, a weather checking uh, on the guitar and the H hardware as well as the colored knobs here and H tuners. And like everything Collins does is they balance it out to per perfectionism. And it's, yeah, it's a really nice guitar. <coughs> So and last but not least, we got a very nice treat for you. We got a vintage Gibson, and it's a rare one. We, we don't see these too often. So it's a 1961 Hummingbird. So first introduced in 1960. This is one with the first specs still. Um, beautiful spruce top, mahogany back and sides, adjustable bridge, and what's really cool, this was the first square shoulder from Gibson. And you would expect, well, if they make a square shoulder, they, they want to make it loud. They want to make a big dread, not like, like Martin, for instance, with the D28 or D18. But this guitar is the opposite. It's really focused and you get this really mellow tone. And in a studio recording, that's just perfect. And that's why these guitars became so popular um, for studio recordings and studio sessions. And you hear them on countless records. Um, it's something that you need to try. It's so funny because a lot of times when we get vintage hummingbirds in and people come to try them, the first impression, oh, this is not what I expected. I expected more sound, but then after five minutes of playing, everybody loves hummingbirds. It's just a tone that you get used to really fast. <laughs> Alright, so that was it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed the guitars. Let us know which one are your favorites and um, what you want to see in the store. If you want to have any more information on the guitars, just send us a message or chat or give us a ring and we're happy to help. Alright, see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.